Very nice. Hey everybody, we got ourselves a nice Monday morning here. It's about as nice as any Monday morning can be anyway. So we got cloudy skies, but that's pretty common this time of year. Um, what we're doing today is we're gonna be removing this pin oak tree here. It hangs pretty substantially over this fence and over a fence in the back. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a combination of two rigging lines, one on this tree and one on this tree. We got our GRCS mount over here, got a block and my, my uh, rigging rope, no, my climbing rope anchored up there. And uh, we're gonna swing stuff from this tree down over to between these two trees. And we're gonna use a rigging rope in this tree and a porter wrap to act as a brake so that way stuff doesn't swing wildly into this. Cause we don't wanna damage this tree here. Um, another way to do this is we could just use like a span rigging system, like more traditional span rigging where we put the rope on a block or a rigging ring and let it just kind of find the natural center between these two trees. Um, we just typically don't end up with as much control there, as much flexibility to do exactly what we want. And so uh, we're going to take and use our two rope method here just so we have a little more versatility. So it'll go pretty smooth. Um, I don't think it's not too big of a challenge, but it'll, it'll be a nice fun tree. I haven't done a tree this big in a little while. So um, today we're working with Sentinel Tree Surgery. I always love working with these guys. They pretty much know what they're doing for the most part. <laughs> They know what they're doing. And so that always helps when you're a contract climber. So um, yeah, we'll jump up there, we'll get right at it. Okay, folks, we're ready to go here. The blue line is in this tree, the yellow line is in that other tree. And that's gonna, well, you'll just see. These two guys are gonna work together and they're gonna get it right down in there. This rope is basically just a break until it's a, it, the load is shared on the ropes and then and they can work together. But here we go. We're gonna cut a notch and kind of swing it in favorable in our direction. <laughs> Okay, Matt, go ahead and let it out. And then once it's between the two of you, Ken, you can start coming down with it. There you go. Same thing with this one, see if we can get a little bit smoother since we're up here higher. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Alrighty, we got everybody tensioned up. My sling doesn't fit on this piece, so we just gotta tie it on there. And we got a little less friction on the blue rope. Should be pretty good. That's a little bit more what I was looking for. No, you're fine. No reason to apologize, just, just figuring it out. I do, I, I try pretty hard on every job to not do anything super critical first time around. All right, so what we got going on here is uh, this limb right here. You know, it's got a sprout up the top. It's got that side and it's got the droopy portion there. And uh, what I've done is I've tied the yellow rope out on the limb, probably close to the balance point maybe a little bit beyond something like that. It would be hard to say with this widespread stuff, but either way, we got the GRCS is on that. And so I'm going to have Ken give me a little pretension there and it'll help us swing things around here a little bit. The reason that's beneficial is because if I just had this butt tied with a block higher up in this tree, 
we'd probably end up with clearance issues on that fence. And then because that branch is so wide, it'd just be an absolute fight to get it off the fence. So this should help this branch swing around real nice. And then our tagline here will keep it under control and keep it from swinging into that other tree. Very nice. Good job, Matt. Good job, Ken, too. Now, Matt, hold on to it for a second. Let Ken catch up. And see if you can let it out at a similar speed to bring it down right between the two trees. Okay, we're going to take this top out next. So what we'll do here is we'll make a face cut, tie the tagline on, and make the back cut. <laughs> A little, little more run there, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you were standing on the rope. <laughs> uh, that's okay, it happens, it happens. Thankfully, it wasn't anything critical. All right, we got ourselves a little bit of a unique situation. I got a block set over there with the half inch rope and same stuff with the 5 eighths rope, but we're gonna just set this piece kind of down into it and it should be pretty gentle experience. This piece is pretty heavy. Uh, I'm sure we're exceeding a thousand pounds on it, so um, we do have more than a 90 degree angle between those two ropes, so you know it's not fair to say that each rope is holding half of the weight. Uh, it'd be more closer to saying that probably each one has like 75% of the weight on it, something like that. So it's it's a little bit big, but we'll do it. <laughs> Matt, go a little more. Nice. Uh-oh, <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> it's gonna whip round pretty hard when it comes out. You don't have any, it's all, it's all, oh, tree. oh here it comes. Let it run when it comes. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> okay, well that was a little bit less than desirable. I probably would have benefited if I would have set those two ropes closer to the balance point on that piece. I think that would have helped. I don't want you guys to think that I was laughing because that was funny. This is a serious stuff, but I just, I get, I laugh when I get nervous sometimes. And that's not necessarily the right, you know, situation. I just don't want to communicate to everybody that that's not a serious thing it was it was a serious thing <laughs> okay we're so far out from the tree that this rope is in now that we're not going to swing it all the way over there because there's just so much linear footage in this rope that it would take out the fence down there with the length of the limb and everything so most of this rope load will come down on the blue rope um and we'll just use the yellow rope to help guide it off of the fence once it gets down there Sounds like it'll be a smooth operation, time will tell. Well, that worked out pretty good though because uh, Ken was able to reel in on that GRCS when you pull in the tail it sucks the extra slack out of the system and so when it swung over there he was able to soak up that slack and keep it from swinging back which was kind of handy. Okay we're gonna do the same thing over again that first time was was good enough and uh, I think it was fairly safe so we'll repeat the process with this 
and then we'll probably I don't know we'll think about that later <laughs> That went great. Okay, we got the rest of the wood here. We got the tip support on that line. We got the butt support on the line that goes over the tree. So it's going to want to go that way when I cut off. So I'm going to cut the butt off in a way that will allow it to do that. Go on the other side of the tree. And so I don't have to worry about it coming back to get me. Okay, you can let it down. She went a little prematurely, but that was due to, due to bad cuts. <laughs> it worked out pretty good. I'm happy with that. I just wish I would have been a little better with my cutting. Could have been more confident about the trigger point. I thought both of my cuts were, thought the top cut was behind the bottom cut on both ends. And, uh, thought I'd be able to get out of the way and let them release it by letting the tip down but that did not work out that way okay we're back up here in the top of the tree we just finished getting that big limb off down there and we're gonna go back to our swinging things nicely between the two trees so this rope is basically just a tagline and will serve as a break and I actually need to flip this block on here I see oops that's the wrong way that's what I like about them things they're so nice um but we'll make our cut here, hinge the thing out there, we're directly over that fence and we'll have plenty of problem, well, no, plenty of room to clear the fence. Yeah, not plenty of problem, that's not what I meant. And it'll swing down in there, as they all have. And this one should finally, should finally be pretty smooth, because there's very little uh, debris in the way. We've got the tree cleaned out nicely. <laughs> nice work very nice work gentlemen uh, so what we're gonna do is we've got both the ropes tied on but I need to make a face cut here so I just tied a little little knot in the rope there that I keep the rope draped out of the way while I make the cut just makes life a little bit easier and it's really quick and easy to pull that knot out and get that rope ready to go instead of you know having to tie it on or something after we made the face cut <laughs> That one did a little dance. Okay, we're gonna send or <laughs> we're gonna send this top that way, and it should have nice free and clear ride, shouldn't get tangled in the ropes. Okay, here she comes. Nice. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Alrighty, we're gonna work this stem down just in a few negative rigs with this half inch rope. I guess you're not really supposed to negative rig on these blocks, so we'll go kind of small. It is only half inch rope anyway, so. We'll be gentle with things. Plus, we got our expert rope runner, Ken Kaufman, down there, who uh, can run any rope through any situation without problem, without fail. Okay, you ready, Ken? Oh, beautiful. That was so good, I'm going to have to give you a raise. Nice run. 
Okay, gang, so what we got here is the top of this lead. It's way over the fence. It's way beyond all the nubs on this tree, which I could have cut better, granted. But it's just not practical for us to swing it all the way over there like we were doing with some of the other brush in this tree. So we're just rigging it out of here in some small pieces and we got a tagline on there so that they can pull it across the fence uh, and land it back in the yard. I don't know if you can see the fence down there, but it's our rigging point here is maybe eight feet away from the fence, you know, beyond it. So that's what we're doing. Got a little Blake's hitch on the tagline to make life easy. Nice. That was so smooth. So so fast. <laughs> Poor Matt down there is reeling the tagline in for all his worth. <laughs> Very similar in size and weight. <laughs> Nicely done. That was a really good rig. Ooh, that's tough, Matt. Good work, good work. Yeah! Nice work. Okay, is everybody ready? Okay, we've come back. We've got all that from all the way over there worked down to nothing. So we're going to send our last piece of brush right here. We're going to send it out that way. Worked out pretty good. We got that top out from up there. That's where that came from. Now we're down here and we're gonna go, we're gonna swing this chunk. slack there, Ken. Okay, that should do it. You ready, everybody? Nice. Ooh, good, good on the brakes there, Matt. Real good. Saved it by like a foot. <laughs> if you stayed on there, good. The only thing I would have done to improve that is, is angled this a little bit more so it went more that way would have just given me a little more assurance that the rope path for that yellow rope didn't end up on this side of the of the stub here <laughs> them and they're gonna fall this whole thing I'm not sure if I'll be here for it to film but I certainly will film it if I'm here so anyhow we're gonna fall that right into there and probably make a crater that I think they'll fix it in a later date and that'll be it for the day this tree was not like anything outrageously difficult aside from the fact that it was just so phototropic and so leaned over that way but we couldn't let anything down in the neighbor's yard without making a large inconvenience so 
I'd say it worked out pretty good. It maybe wasn't as smooth of a tree as I wanted it to be. You know, there were some rigs that were kind of kind of sloppy. wasn't thrilled with those. Um, but I definitely I definitely learned some things. So anyhow, I am gonna probably get down and set this saw down, and then ride the GRCS up to get my blocks out of this tree, and then that'll be it. Well, this is all the extra rope we had to work with all day down here. This is a 150 foot 5 8 rope. And uh, so I would say we're pretty close to tied in to 70 feet up there. And it's not at the top. I wouldn't be surprised if this tree was 90 foot tall or something. He's a big one for sure. Yes, now I'm ready. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's all folks. I got a dip because I got an appointment and I'm on the verge of running late because I stayed to watch that. But yeah, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this and you wanna see more, hit subscribe. You know, if even if you didn't enjoy it, you know, you might learn something, I don't know. 